All right, so Nintendo finally has a new global uh, president in Tatsumi Kimishima. Now, as you can see, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wrong picture. There we go. As you can see, uh, he's not very young. He's actually pretty old. Um, yeah, he's he's not a spring chicken. Uh, he's been around the block a definitive amount of times. There's there's no question of that. You got a lot of people online talking about how oh, how could they do that? How could they pick such an old CEO? Well, that's just the thing. He's just meant to be a temporary replacement. And according to IGN, he's only been appointed for one year. So stop crying. Now I'm going to tell you why this is actually a pretty good choice. Now I've seen a lot of people online were expecting Miyamoto (laughs) to be the CEO. And what? Now, Miyamoto's an a excellent game designer, but do you really a CEO? No. No. Miyamoto is a little bit too creative to have that kind of position. Like, he, it, it, no, that's it. No. Miyamoto's not stable enough to be a CEO. He might wake up one day and decide to make the next Nintendo system out of mashed potatoes just because he was feeling it <laughs> that day. No. Miyamoto could never be the CEO. Miyamoto doesn't want to be CEO. Moving along. So this guy is actually for what they're have him doing this temporary position is actually a very good choice. One, because the dude used to actually be the uh, CEO of Nintendo of America from 2002 to 2006. And if you guys remember correctly, that was from the GameCube era on to the launch of the Wii. So this guy over, oversaw the the original Wii's launch in North America, which, if you guys remember, was very, very successful. Add to the fact that, I mean, even the GameCube, even though it didn't light up the charts sales-wise, uh, it wasn't because of a lack of advertising. The advertising for the GameCube was much better than the 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 Wii U's and actually better than the Wii's really the commercials for the GameCube were were way better um the GameCube had much better third party support uh in America than the Wii U ever had so get get get, get to do the break he also used to be the the president of the Pokemon company Turns out he's one of the main reasons why Pokemon is Pokemon games are even in North America. So dude looks like he is the best choice for the time. Now, they wanted to go with a younger person, but they didn't have anybody young that had that kind of experience. So this guy is probably going to end up training whoever the actual legit successor is uh, for this position. And the fact that he's the only really CEO in the history of Nintendo to actually live in North America for years. This guy's probably the the, the best bet to do, especially with the launch of a new system. And it, it turns out that allegedly this dude <laughs> even uh, was one of the only people at Nintendo to say that the Wii U was going to fail. He said that it was when they introduced it, he said that it was too close to the Wii and that it was going to fail. So obviously the guy kind of knows what he's talking about. Um, he's like probably the oldest employee there, but seems like he has uh, some of the most knowledge. So uh, get a guy a break. Let's see what he can do. Hopefully he can um, stir up some of that. We launch magic with the NX. Have that seat.